Birds of Prey is like the the first all female superhero team up movie. How does it feel to be a part of that and like making history with representation on that? Feels great. Feels feels <laughs> pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a great group of people to be a part of, and uh, it's about time a movie like this is made. And thanks to her, it is. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's so cool for this to be my first big feature film and for some other actors it's it's not their normal that women are full on behind this and producing and working in in the cast and the fact that for me it is um my first and how um this is such a big movie is crazy thanks yeah. to you <sighs> your checks in the mail um <laughs> No, it's incredible, and yeah, like you said, I mean, it's 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 <coughs> crazy to me that this hasn't happened already. I, I definitely identified a huge gap in the market many years ago because it's like, I love action films. I love watching a group of women on screen interacting because in real life I'm always with a group of women, and um, I just couldn't figure out why that wasn't happening, why no one was doing that. There was a gap in the market, and uh, um, I'm just happy that, yeah, we get to be the first to do it. Uh, you've been Harley Quinn since uh, probably 2016, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is your second go around with the character. 2015, 2015. actually. 2015. Yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, how different was it from filming the first Suicide Squad, uh, which focuses on a larger group ensemble, to move on to Birds of Prey, which kind of focuses on Harley? Yeah, she's definitely like your way into the story and your narrator and, and kind of guides you through the story while simultaneously being the catalyst of chaos that ensues um, all this crazy drama. Um, it was, it's fascinating to see what different filmmakers make of the character. And I think it's very, it's kind of indicative of how the, 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 the um, how the comics can be read where one author gives you one version and backstory of a character and then you pick up a different comic and it might be the new 52 or whatever. And it's, it's different. The character looks a little different. They're still them in their essence, but they might have a different backstory, a different group of people that they're on a mission with, whatever. And I kind of like that the DC, uh, you know, universe on screen is like that, where you can see Todd Phillips' version of Gotham or Chris Nolan's version of Gotham or Kathy Ann's version of Gotham. Um, and it's been interesting to see what David Ayer gravitated towards with Harley, what Kathy's gravitated towards with Harley, and what James Gunn is now gravitating towards with Harley. It's always coming back to the source material. The comics are the common denominator, for, of course. Um, but it is fun because then I get to explore all these different sides of her. And to me, she is so multifaceted. I want to see all different different versions of Harley. And in this version, you're definitely seeing um, a more shaky version. She's kind of, she's always going to be cocky, but she's lost a, a security, a confidence that she had when she was with Mr. J. Harley uh, definitely set, has her future set out for her with uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad, as you mentioned. Uh, is there anything you could tease about Harley going into that film, and how, uh, will she be as free as she was in this movie? Uh, <laughs> I uh, wish I could uh, say I can't. Th this is your first big film, and uh, well, your first film, and this is also a pretty huge film. Uh, how was it on your first day uh, on set, and how did you react to seeing Margot in makeup as Harley Quinn? Well, I was with this lovely lady, and it was so cute. We gave each other like cute little hats. We coincidentally, um, and it was. We did do that. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Remember the child's like, "Ella, I got a present for you." And she's I like, like, "I got, I got a, present a present for you." For you. And we gave exactly <laughs> the same thing. We were like, "That was weird." Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that that first day, it, it really set the tone for the next couple of months, and. I mean, I I mean, we literally just ate cereal all day and and talked. Seemed a lot of sugar on this yeah, job. Yeah. Yeah, and really got to know each other. Which what was the first scene you guys did? It was um, the scene. I don't remember. Oh boy, this I think it was the scene in your apartment. I think it, yeah. I think it was where we were walking with mm -hmm. like the dog food and all that. Yeah. Remember, because then when we did the supermarket, we were like, what were we holding? What groceries did <laughs> yeah. we grab? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fun. Would you like to see, because uh, Cassandra has like a very interesting background in the comics. She was an mm -hmm. assassin. Would you like to see that background in the future? 
I mean, I hope so. Hopefully, that w- that would be super exciting to see because there are there's there's so many versions um, of Cassandra Cain, and there's such an opportunity with the comic books as the full on resource and a lot of variety that that could be shown in film, which would be exciting. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you.